Over the past several years, interest in fossil hunting on the Peace River has absolutely exploded, where people will come from all over the country for their chance at finding mammoth tusks to megalodon teeth. That's a megalodon, and next to it is a horse tooth. For Kenneth Fullman, what began as a hobby has grown into a business, one that attracts people far beyond Florida. Oh yes, I get people come from New Mexico, all over the country, uh, out of the country also, Canada, so they're looking for a venture of finding fossils. He's a longtime fossil hunter who now offers tours to a growing number of people interested in finding one of their own. Everybody wants the Meg, and that's what he's trying to find is that one big Meg. He took us on a swamp buggy to an undisclosed tributary of the Peace River. Don't ask for people's locations because everybody has their secret location. All right, when you get all your gear, follow me. This could be a little slippery on the edge of the bank. Here we learned how to search the creek bed for fossils and how to sift through every shovelful. The Peace River is very, very unique in the whole state, I believe, as far as accessibility. Fossil hunting like this in recent years has become hugely popular, fueled by recent high profile finds, remains of what paleontologists are calling a sperm whale, and exposure by private hunters on social media. Over the phone, Lewis Stifel from the Lee County Fossil Club explained how this affects the amount of fossils left to be found. And then there's a lot of Facebook fossil sites, you know, groups, and a lot of people join them. The days of finding 15, 20, 30 megalodons in a day in a gravel bar are gone. And with that popularity comes those who break the rules. It's illegal to dig the banks, but people don't know. And a lot of people, they don't know that you're supposed to have a fossil permit to dig anything other than shark teeth. What he means is that digging in the sides of the riverbank is illegal, but hunters still do it to get to the fossils from the undisturbed sediment layer. This can cause erosion over time. Not only is it illegal, but you can go to jail for it. That's why licensed guides like Ken do their best to educate people along the way. It is competitive. It's, you know, it takes work, it takes time. You going out there, researching the area, finding that gravel. Gravel's what, what the fossils are in. Reporting from the Peace River, Alex Howard, NBC2.